European structural funds run across multi-annual financial frameworks as well as programming processes. The current program uh, starts in 2021 and runs until the year 2027. However, funds can be implemented until the year 2030. There are five priorities, one of which is a more uh, social Europe. Now, what are the most relevant structural funds? But there are two that are uh, most important for you. The European Social Fund and the European Regional Development Fund. Let's start with this one. The European Regional Development Fund is mostly used for equipment and infrastructure, whilst the European Social Fund is used for human resources. For example, to support beneficiaries through employment, uh, education and uh, the fight against poverty. It's quite important to mention actually that in the current programming period, the one that starts now in 2021, 25% of this fund must be dedicated to the uh, priority of promoting social inclusion. There are also other funds such as the FEAT, the European Fund for the Most Deprived, which is used for uh, supporting people's basic needs. All of these funds are materialized through the operational programs. And these operational programs vary from country to country, as they do for next generation. Therefore, what you have to do is to identify the managing authority in your public administration of reference, whether it is regional or whether it is national, because this depends on the country. You should then identify what their investment priorities are and adapt your proposals according to those investment priorities or try to, uh, or try to uh, also influence those uh, priorities for investment for the use of structural funds. If you would like to find out more, you can always get in touch with us as we have contacts with uh, many managing authorities and a significant number of them are also ESM members themselves. There are uh, different allocations of amounts per country when it comes to the European Social Fund. And actually, we must uh, remember that the European Social Fund now will be called European Social Fund Plus, bringing together uh, a number of funds uh, in, in the field of social inclusion. There are 11 priorities which are uh, distributed in three main areas of employment, education and social inclusion. And uh, what is new in this uh, programming period? Well, the requirement that at least 25% uh, can actually be more uh, must be dedicated to social inclusion. In addition to this, 12.5% uh, should be dedicated to young people or to the Youth Guarantee to uh, ensure access to employment and education of young people. 5% should be dedicated to childhood and especially to vulnerable children. This goes in line with what I mentioned earlier on, on the child guarantee to promote access to education, housing, nutrition of uh, vulnerable children. And 3% must be dedicated to severe material deprivation or extreme exclusion. So if you add this all up, all in all, when we add them up, we are looking at 45% of the future ESF plus that can be used for social inclusion. And this, of course, represents an unprecedented opportunity for investment in social services. Now, if we look at the European Regional Development Fund, there are five priorities on innovation, on research and development, on energy, on sustainability, and as I mentioned earlier on, on a more social Europe. And uh, a more social Europe means supporting uh, to develop the economy and do so in a more social way by promoting social inclusion and inclusion in urban areas. The idea is that funded actions with the European Regional Development Fund can give support and will give support to develop the economy, but to do so in a social way. This translates, for example, into investments for the social inclusion of people who have certain sets of vulnerabilities. 
the European Regional Development Fund, uh, ERDF, can be used, for instance, for the purchase or the rehabilitation of housing for vulnerable uh, populations, for instance, for the homeless or for addressing problems with illegal settlements in, in, in towns and cities. Actually, 10% uh, should be dedicated to urban area projects. For example, supporting disadvantaged neighborhoods can be one of those priorities uh, which is eligible within this uh, 10%. It is also uh, very important to take into account that in this programming period of uh, 2021 uh, to 2027, uh, it is foreseen the possibility to combine actions from the ERDF, European Regional Development Fund, and the ESF, European Social Fund. For example, for comprehensive actions uh, with support uh, that, or that provide support from multiple perspectives. An example could be, uh, you might combine funding in infrastructure, for example, to, to build a support center for uh, people with uh, disabilities and provide uh, at, the same at the same time training programs for them uh, for those people with disabilities. And there you can combine ERDF for the infrastructure part and ESF for the training part. Well, as we did with uh, the Next Generation EU funds, we will now look at some examples of how uh, European structural and investment funds can be used to support social services. Let me ask you first, what type of interventions do you think that can be financed with these funds? Or maybe let me ask you in a different way. Imagine, imagine that you want to finance a community care facility. Uh, do you think that these funds could finance it? Well, structural funds are not designed to finance services that are already including within uh, the portfolio of social services of uh, public administrations. What do I mean by this? That if in your country legislation says that primary or community care is already covered by national legislation, and therefore should be by national funds, you should not be using structural funds for this purpose. Because going back to the initial presentation and the principles of complementarity and subsidiarity, structural funds are complementary to the actions of member states. However, if you were thinking of implementing, for instance, a new model of care in the community, for instance, a new cohabitation model of, let's say, creating new homes which might require the involvement of different uh, stakeholders, different administrations. These could be financed with uh, structural funds because the idea is to experiment, to respond to the same social challenge that existed already, but to do so, to respond to this uh, old social challenge in an innovative way. 